Hi and welcome back to Big Picture Technology and Science. For more than 2,000 years, humans have been occupied with creating analog representations for the physical world. It started with very simple devices used for practical purposes, but expanded significantly during the industrial and scientific revolutions. In this video, the third in the series, we will travel the long way from these early devices that created the analog representations of various physical phenomena to our modern day sensing systems and we will try to identify and understand the huge impact that electricity had on this process. I chose temperature measurement as an example that illustrates this huge impact that electricity had on our ability to create such analog representations. This journey will start more than 2,000 years ago. The first devices to create temperature analogous signals are attributed to ancient Romans, specifically to Hero of Alexandria. His device exploited the fact that various materials, and specifically air, expanded and co contracted according to the surrounding temperature. The expanding air changed the level of water in a vessel and was therefore an analog representation to the changing temperature. Galileo Galilei improved upon this principle in the 16th century and when Santorio Santorio added a scale to his thermoscope in 1612, the first thermometer was born. In 1714, Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit produced the first mercury-based thermometer. It still relied on the expansion and contraction of materials when temperature ch temperatures changed, but showed much better linearity and wasn't influenced by the outside atmospheric pressure. This revolutionary device was later revised to allow thermometers to measure human body temperatures. When the knowledge of electricity accumulated, it became clear that the electrical features of various materials changed with temperature and could therefore serve as an analog indication to the temperature itself. An English scientist named Sir Humphrey Davy was fascinated by the new field of electrochemistry that opened up in the early 19th century. His studies focused on electricity's effect on various chemical reactions. It was one of his students, Michael Faraday, whom in 1833 was the first to notice that some materials dramatically changed their electric resistance as temperature changed, but it took another 100 years until commercially viable thermistors were invented in 1930 by the American inventor Samuel Rubin. It seemed as if possibilities were now endless. The discovery of the Seebeck effect gave way to thermocouples, the discovery of piezoelectricity gave way to quartz-based, very accurate thermometers and the improved understanding of the whole electromagnetic spectrum enabled remote temperature sensing through IR thermography allowing us today to measure human body temperature remotely within two seconds or less. It is amazing to see how electricity opened the way for a huge range of analog signals all representing temperature. We need to understand. I use temperature analogies only as an example of how our ability to create analogies to the physical world expanded significantly with the discoveries related to electricity and magnetism. If one would look at our ability to create analogies for measuring time, light, sound, pressure, and more, and almost any other physical phenomena, he would find a similar picture, very limited capabilities at first to create an analog signals expanded almost exponentially using electricity and magnetism. The impact of electricity on the analog world was so substantial that when people today refer to analog signals, they almost always refer to electrical analog signals that are analogous to some physical quantity. It is hard to imagine our lives today without the ability to monitor the physical world with electrical analog signals. 
A typical smartphone, for example, can have up to 15 different sensors monitoring different physical quantities. This was the third video in the series describing the way electricity changed our world. If you haven't seen the other two, here are links to them. It would be great if you left me your comments and subscribed. See you next time.